What's up, my friend? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're taking a look at a brand new library from CineSamples called Industry Brass Core. So um, if you aren't aware, CineSamples have recently been working on a subscription service called Museo, which is kind of similar to the East-West player platform or play platform, um, sorry, Composer Club platform, I should say, where uh, you can essentially download their entire catalog for a certain price every month. And so um, in addition to Museo, they're still working on their contact libraries and Industry Brass is uh, was initially a Museo only library that they have now taken to uh, contact uh, separately and they've called it Core. So it's a slightly smaller uh, library in terms of content compared to the Museo version. I think I will do a separate version comparing the contact and Museo versions. But today we're just taking a look at the contact version here. So it is available for Contact Player, which is awesome. Um, if you're working Contact and you prefer that platform, then uh, you'll like this library if this is the sound you want. And then uh, for me, it's listed under Canadian dollars. Um, so they've recently also updated their website with new features and stuff. So for me, it's showing Canadian, but in American dollars and other, that, uh, other currencies, it will show differently for you. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna take a look at the library today, just take a quick look and go through the patches and stuff. Big thanks to Cine Samples for sending me a copy for review as well as doing a giveaway as well. So we'll go over those details at the very end. So stick around for that. But uh, you also see some demos here on the sales page as well as um, a little blurb about the background of the library, also the colors that come with the library, the patch list as well. So all the different articulations, compatibility and contact and NKS integration. So with that being said, let's take a quick look. Um, so here is the library in the contact window. You can see nice solid gold here and we basically have four patches, keeps it super, super simple, but this is an ensemble only library. You do not have solo instruments in this library. All right, so we're gonna go top to bottom from highest to lowest. Let's start with the trumpets. Now, first things first, let me just get out of the way that I'm not the biggest fan of this visual style of GUI, mainly because of the colors. I, I am a big fan of this like little light spotlight uh, feature here. You know, it kind of re reminds us of the Newman, um, or you know, the, the Century logo in the intros of those movies, right? But I, I'm not, I, like, I don't really love the entire gold aesthetic, personally. Um, I would have loved to see some whites, maybe some more dark blacks, maybe some blues here and there, just for more contrast. For me, the entire yellow color scheme seems a little bit um, dated in a way, but I've also seen people saying they also love the GUI. So it's just a personal preference for me, you know? Not a deal breaker by any means, but that's the vibe that this uh, library is going for. So totally cool. Um, but then on the left, what you'll basically notice as soon as you load in a patch is you'll see this single articulation selection. So here you're gonna have um, the different uh, articulations that you can select by category. So we have longs, but then there's also muted longs. There's also shorts, muted shorts and rips and special effects, falls and doits for the uh, trumpets as well, which is cool. Crescendos, effects. So they're all categorized here, but it's not overwhelmingly long and you can actually scroll through and get to those. Now there's also another way of switching through the different articulations through the mapping and the presets, which we will take a look at in a little bit. But first of all, let me just show you the singles. So um, let me just play a little bit here. We're gonna hear the dry mic first, then we'll go to the wet and uh, let's start with the trumpets legato. So here we go. All right, a uh, little, little disclaimer here really quickly. So uh, my mod wheel has a little bit of finicky bug going on. So uh, yeah, when I ride up and down the mod wheel, you'll see it kind of shaking and vibrating. That's not uh, on my end. It basically is just, you know, a little, I guess, sensitivity issue with the mod wheel. So forgive me if, uh, if the dynamic layers feel a little bit like, uh, like a little uh, abrupt. It's simply because of the mod wheel behavior there. So I'm gonna try to keep it as consistent as possible, but uh, sometimes I will maybe just leave it on a higher dynamic layer or lower so we don't have those sudden abrupt changes in the mod wheel. Okay, so that was the dry setting. Let's quickly hear the wet as well. 
Um, but even, even on the dry sanding, it does feel a little bit more upfront and you do get that really smooth sound signature from the trumpet. So it's a really beautiful sound. Um, the wet, let's have a quick listen to that as well. So there I was demonstrating the polyphonic legato. Uh, so basically, however many voices you play, as long as all those notes can transition, or e even if you just hold one of those certain notes and the others transition to different notes, the engine will basically work out which notes are transitioning and give you legato transitions for those notes, which is really, really cool. And here you can also affect the speed of the legato as well. So uh, you can have it faster on the faster side, on the slower side. And if you hold down option and then click, you can also limit or increase the range of the speed of Legato 2, which is really cool. Um, yeah, and so if we go back to the single articulations, we also have sforzandos, there's growls. Let me just go through some of these other articulations here.
All right. So that's just a quick look at all of those different articulations that we get here. So definitely a lot more articulations than Cinebrass, the Cinebrass series. I think Industry Brass is really just taking the articulation set to the next level, making it more comprehensive. And also the, let's, let's quickly compare the tone actually between Industry Brass and Cinebrass. So Cinebrass is uh, recorded in Sony scoring stage, right? So it's a, it's a larger hall, I feel like. It's, uh, it has more of that resonance and that reflection that really gives you that sense of the big room with the brass, which really rings out in a really nice way. And industry brass feels like it's a little bit more controlled. The sound is a little bit more creamy, maybe slightly more, dare I say it, clinical in a way. But uh, the legato, in my opinion, feels better. It's more playable. So you do get slightly better playability of this library, but the, the tone itself is just a little bit different. Uh, it's maybe a little bit more... Yeah, like I said, creamy, a bit more upfront compared to Cinebrass, which is maybe a little brighter, but it also has a rounder, fatter sort of sound to it too. You kind of have to compare back and forth to really hear the differences, I guess. But in general, this one feels a little bit drier as well due to the nature of the hall too. So uh, pretty interesting stuff. And that's just the trumpets. Let's kind of take a look at the horns here. Now, let me go over, uh, first of all, I've, I've loaded in these other mic positions. If you want to create your own custom balance, you can certainly do that. So far in the trumpets, we've just been listening to the mixes, the dry and the wet for ease of use, but we'll take a look at these as well. So we'll hear the close first. Now, uh, so far we've just been taking a look at the single articulations, but if you want to map them more to your own workflow, then you can certainly do it this way too. And so for the horns, um, they have the presets, right? Or for, for these, all, all the patches, they have these presets that you can map different articulations to. So there's the core set, but uh, I, I've chosen this, the long key switch set. So here, down here, you can see the different key switches, which is nice. So then you can basically play uh, and activate between those different articulations and hear whatever you, um, you want. They also have uh, key switches for short articulations, and then they have performance patches or performance, uh, I guess, mapping, which is more like uh, using the pedal for the longer uh, articulations, which we'll take a look at in the trombones. They also have the shorts, which is more velocity based and you know things like that. And then they have the effects there as well. And then a sketching sort of mode as well. But let's take a look at the key switch longs and I'll play through some of these articulations here.
yeah, apologies there again for the glitchiness there in the mod wheel, but um, yeah, just playing around with the mic positions there, you can see that I think the, I mean, the clothes definitely has the most presence there, but the room definitely blends that that detail and the hall sound really beautifully. So you get that nice balance. If I were to kind of create my own mic mix, I probably would have the close and the room more or less kind of like this. And then the surround maybe a little bit lower just to add a little bit more of that, uh, you know, the, the hugginess of the hall around it, the signal, you know? But that's the legato there. Um, slightly weird behavior in the surround mics there. When I was playing the ascending intervals, I was kind of getting more of a delayed swell in a way. So let me see if that that is coming back up here. So Yeah, so you hear in that highest dynamic layer there, when I'm going up, when I'm playing a higher interval, it seems like the note is Transitioning fine, but then it, the dynamic is relatively small, but then it kind of takes its time to transition into the note, like it swells into the note. So I'm not sure if that's just a little bug, but something I just noticed here. Okay, let's kind of go back um, and hear some of these other articulations. Let me just maybe solo or include all of these guys here so we can hear them all. Nice. Okay, let's key switch uh, a few of these here. So we have, I think, I think this is just sustains. Right, so you get mutes, you get sforzandos, you get um, you know more of those more of those tones there, but they're all activated by key switches. So that's that that's the switch patches. Uh, let's move down here to the trombones. Now here I'm using the key switch for the shorts. So um, here we have basically three shorts. We have which definitely sounds more like a staccatissimo, if you will. That one is more of a staccato. It's slightly longer, I think. And then we get more of the mercados or the tenutos, which are a little bit longer. Let's take a look at the performance shorts here and let's see how this mapping is, is, uh, is working. So let's go to the preset. Uh, let's go to the performance page. Here we go. So here, this is very similar to what you get when you open up Cinebrass for the first time. Uh, by default, it's kind of mapped to the mod wheel in terms of the length of the articulation. So for the short notes, um, basically at the very bottom, we have staccatissimo. So if I bring the mod wheel all the way down, we're gonna get the shortest notes. Bring it up to the middle, we'll get the staccato. Slightly longer, and then at the very top, we get the two new toes. And here you can see the actual ranges you can affect. So from 51 to 90 at that value of the mod wheel, it's a little bit longer. And then from 91 to 127, it's the longest, right? So, and then for the lowest one, one to 50. Um, so yeah, very, very similar to, to the original center brass mapping. And if we do the longs patch, then it's also very similar as well. So let's take a look at the preset performance long. Here you can see that the legato was activated when the pedal is up. So by default, when we play notes, the pedal is activated, sorry, the, the legato is activated, but when we press down the pedal, then we get regular sustains. And then also if you play with a higher velocity while the pedal is down, then you activate a sforzando attack as well. So you can have sforzando and sustains within the same uh, performance just by triggering your velocity. So that's why there's a rule one and a rule two. The rule two is like the secondary. So after the pedals press down, that activates the sustains. And then depending on how hard you press, that will activate the regular sustains, 
regular attacks or these forzando. Okay, so kind of a cool intuitive way to work with your instruments there as well. But uh, these are the ones that you can choose from in terms of the mapping. All right, let's quickly hear the tuba as well. Oh, I also forgot to show you the space and the color. So let me show you that afterwards. But here's quickly what the tuba legato sounds like. And that's the wet mix there as well. Okay, now finally, let's just hear the trumpet legatos again, but let's take a look at the actual uh, colors. So I'm gonna go back to sound, color, and space. So here's the two tabs. You can have the performance and mapping, which is more for the articulations. Sound, color, and space is where you wanna shape the actual tone of the instrument. So for space, we can have small hall, we can have medium and large hall. So let's have a quick listen to the large hall actually. a large room. Maybe turn up the reverb there. Large hall. Yeah, so definitely a longer tail there, a slightly fatter sound compared to the large room, which feels a tad more controlled there. And then let's quickly have a listen to the color as well. So I'm gonna turn the reverb back down. Um, this entire time we've been taking a look at the modern sounds. So let's take a look at uh, the golden era here. Yeah, definitely that more vintage sound for sure. Uh, let's have a listen to Timeless. Blockbuster. And finally, we'll go back to the modern. we go modern definitely sounds the most pristine the, the brightest and it has that more you know more of a polish than the even the blockbuster one so all of them have their own characters the golden era and the timeless are definitely the most characterful in my opinion but yeah just to quickly sum this all up so you can definitely feel the playability changes and just the overall technology innovations that Cine samples have made since the Cinebrass series. Um, the Cinebrass series and all the Cine Symphony lineup really is well the most well-known, I think, for the, the sound, the way it kind of, uh, all the instruments kind of resound in the hall. It's a very cinematic, for lack of a better word, sound. Whereas the industry series, at least starting from the brass, has a slightly more controlled sound. It's a bit, it's more playable. The legato smoother. Everything is just a little bit more contained in a way. Um, but again, you can you can play around with the the miking options, with the mixes, with the different sounds, of course, and the mapping, of course, is is more to your own workflow. But overall, I think it's a great start. Um, you know, there's probably a few bugs here and there that uh, that could be ironed out, but overall, I think it's a, a good port from the Musio series. And again, I'm probably going to do a video comparing the Musio edition and the Contact edition just to show us the differences and take a look at that. But uh, let's quickly get into the giveaway. So uh, first of all, make sure you fill out the form below in the description box. If you want a copy of this library, then fill in your details there. Visit that link, fill out that form, and you'll be entered. 
Uh, rule number two is to leave a comment under this video letting me know why you want this library, what you would use the library for. I'd love to know uh, what your plans are for this library. And number three is simply to leave a like on the video, which is always helpful and always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. And uh, again, make sure to fill out the form because then I can contact you privately to let you know who the winner is. Thanks again. I'll see you then and I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.